Today is the day that I discovered Instagram stories. It's really fun. You just put whatever you want in your day. Ah, hi everyone. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is Trina reporting live at the Trump Hotel in International Tower. Why are we here? Not for Trump, that's for sure. <laughs> we're actually here because we're going to have lunch at Jean Georges. So Pierre's parents, they're so nice. For Christmas, they offered us um, a present, which was dinner at, or lunch, whatever, a meal at a uh, very nice restaurant of our choosing. So we're gonna try out our first three-star Michelin restaurant today. The first in my life. I've never tried one before, so I'm really, really excited. I hope it's good. It's supposed to be one of the best values, for a three-star Michelin restaurant lunch in the city. Apparently the restaurant is under construction. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's hope they don't kick me out with my gear. What are you gonna eat? We found what we're, we want. I think I want pito crab dumpling and then the black sea bass. Crusted with nuts and seeds. That sounds great. This is a hake shishimi. And then this is, I can't remember. Shrimp and saffron yogurt broth. And tuna is heavy. The pito crab dumplings with a ginger and um, citrus. Stuff them on the know. Wait, wait, wait. Truffle crusted white salmon. And tuna is having crusted sea bass with a lot of things that looks delicious. <laughs> and Trina is becoming an Instagram story fan now. I guess so now we're supposed to choose one of the theme for the dessert. I'm really leaning towards the chocolate, obviously. So we're having some uh, passion fruit chocolate mousse. Yeah, I don't remember everything, guys, sorry. Trina is having some tea and the dessert is just for me. Guys, so to finish, we have a few bites with like a few chocolates and then we have marshmallow from Madagascar right there. Ooh, marshmallow. How's it, Trina? It's like a marshmallow. It's not too sweet. No, so it's, it's good. super nice. It's fluffy yeah. and not sweet. Let's be honest, that's a moment where you're supposed to run away and never come back. <laughs> so, we are out of the restaurant and First of all, I want to say it's really funny because the environment is kind of formal, like really formal actually. So I had to wear like black pants, but I only have brown clothes. And for me, that looks kind of weird. But on top of that, I have my orange <laughs> backpack. So completely out of context. But once I remove all that, yeah. it looks much better. I think though, to be honest, so Jean-Georges, if you come here on their website in the main formal dining room, they're going to say like, no jeans, no casual stuff. You must wear a jacket, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, Maybe true. that's true for dinner. But for lunch, we definitely saw a mix. So people in sweaters, yeah. even like some tourists who didn't necessarily have like the formal attire so it's a lot more casual for lunch I mean Pierre would have been fine Slightly with his more, more relaxed you would have been say. fine with his like black jeans and like nice yeah you would have yeah. been fine with that but anyway so that was a three-star Michelin restaurant of Angie yes. first time in our life <laughs> thank yeah. you to all my parents yes, for getting us that that's Thanks, really parents. cool so if you go at lunch, it's a lot cheaper. Let's just say it. sure. it's a lot, lot cheaper. It's almost affordable uh, if you want to save up and you love food. Almost. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it depends on your interest. You know, like some people are ready to pay like $200 for go-karting one evening and some prefer to go eat. So it really yeah. depends on what you like in life. Trina is a big foodie. Thank God she didn't pass out because we can tell you in another <laughs> story, but we went somewhere one time there were so many meals that I think she I have she a tendency out. to pass out with like uh, fixed menus how was the food Trina? so the restaurant experience itself I would say the food for me was three out of three 
um, simply because it was very, very delicious. The muse bouche, the presentation, the mix of the ingredients. For me, I thought it was really nice. I had the crab dumplings for, it's like a dumpling soup for appetizer, and then I had the sea bass, which was delicious. Um, oh, Pierre, yeah. on the other hand, he had the good. salmon, and we both tasted his salmon. So it was truffle crust salmon. It was like um, two out of three, I'd say. It's great, but the layer of salmon was slightly too thick, which overpowered the truffle the crust. Truffle. I would say for the ambiance, I would give it a two out of three, just because everything was really formal, but there was something missing from it. <laughs> it was like it had all the components of the ballet, but the choreography just was not as in sync as I would expect from a three-star restaurant. And maybe that's just because you know, we're used to maybe France when you go to a really nice restaurant in France, no matter if it's, you know, star or not star, there's almost an element of yeah. like effort, like effort. Yeah, it feels of, more natural, yeah. like yeah, a very formal service. I think it yes. feels slightly less natural. It's like when you go to Vancouver and Canadians are trying to be nice there. <laughs> Stop, we're taking that out. No. <laughs> no, no, here's the problem with... No, in Vancouver, people try to be nice. They're trying to be American nice and it doesn't work for them. I think they need to find their own way of being nice. And here they're trying to be very formal, but maybe the European way for Americans doesn't work. They just have to adapt it to themselves. I think it's really adapt to who you are. It was like, okay, we have to take the plates away at the exact same time. So there'd be two people taking away each of our plates. But like they didn't do it on time, so one would let it go, but then the other one, and so the other one, <laughs> and then they true. come back. This is pretty fun. Like in in a real experience, you basically don't even realize when the plate was away. Oh, and your wine also. She wanted to pour wine, and then she realized that there it was, was no, no glass. glass. All right, guys, we're in the lower west corner of Central Park. I'm just gonna show you around. Guys, do you see the big rocks behind? Well, actually, I went bouldering there this summer. It's pretty cool. In summer, it's nice. Right now, it's a bit cold to be bouldering outside, but really good. You've got a lot of those big rocks in Central Park for bouldering climbing. Alright guys, you might have realized, but this is Times Square. Just going across, going to the co-working space, bring some stuff, go to the repair shop, and then hopefully get some more work done, upload the last video, and get to another meeting, and then meet again with friends in the evening. You see guys, the thing that I like the most about uh, the co-working space, like WeWork, is that they have many locations across the city, and I can just go to any, and just print and do my stuff, work a bit, and then just move on with the day. Super convenient, super convenient when you're like, when you can work from almost anywhere. I'm going back out, it's gonna be dark normally, and I'm going to the camera repair shop, we'll see what they say about the camera, and also I wanted to let you know, today is supposed to be a public holiday here in the US, but a lot of people are working. Because there's so much light from Times Square at night, it's insane. Photo repair shop, let's go. Alright guys, out of the shop. Apparently they can't do anything here. I'm gonna go to b and right now. I'm gonna see if they have any second-hand lenses for cheap for the Panasonic that I could use in the meantime. Yeah, so this place is super dangerous to get in if you love photography and gear because it's like gear paradise. They have everything you want there. It's a camera, but not broken. I'm finished with the shop. Basically, they had a few second-hand lenses, but they're still very expensive to be honest. So I need to wait what they do with the repair and the insurance before I make a decision. Guys, look at that view.
you tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions for us. And remember, live today like there's no other day or whatever Pierre says because you never know if tomorrow ends. Is that what he says? I don't think that's what he says. But it's something about living your life and the adventure. <laughs>